Hey, that works! As you can see, I'm in Half-Life Alex, and I'm using just my hands as the controllers because I mounted this little Leap Motion controller too uh, on my Beyond VR headset. As you can see over here, where's the camera? Over there, over here, and it tracks it pretty well. As you can see, look at that. I can even okay do this. I can even do this, and I'm using this uh, Steam VR third-party plugin that allows me to. Do uh, movements and everything. It emulates uh, the Valve Index controllers, so I can actually navigate and use my hands for stuff, which is pretty cool. Obviously, this game is not made for hand tracking, so it can be a little bit janky. Let's drop this over here like a good citizen. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. So what we are going to do today, I'll explain how you can uh, use this with any SteamVR game as well. Because it's actually super easy to do, so I'll add a little tutorial at the end of this video. And I'll just show you a bit how this works, and maybe show you uh, what people use it for. So uh, let's get started, but first, here's a message from today's sponsor. Thanks to Delta Hub for sponsoring this segment of our video. Do you, like me, spend endless hours at your PC, mouse in hand? Well, I bet your wrist could use some respite like mine did. That's how I found Delta Hub's Carbio G 2.0, a lightweight, perforated ergonomic pad designed alongside physicians. It lifts your wrist by about a centimeter, reducing strain and promoting a natural position. An adjustable silicone strap with a magnetic attachment ensures a secure fit while the gliding feet allow smooth transitions from keyboard to mouse. I pair it with Delta Hub's gaming desk mat because I'm a fan of its minimalistic design and spill resistance. I'm a serial spiller. Expect an adjustment period of about a week or two, but trust me, after months of use, I can't envision gaming or editing without them. Delta Hub truly delivers on its promise of everyday comfort, so click the links below to discover more. You might still remember Leap Motion. I covered them five years ago and they stood out because of their precise hand tracking tech, albeit with a bit of a limited field of view. Fast forward to today, they've rebranded as Ultra Leap and finally released their second gen hand tracking device. Leap Motion Controller 2, priced at $140. This is the one we're checking out today. But what do people use it for? Well, there are various plugins that extend its usability. People have been using it for VR flight simulators to effortlessly flip switches, for VTubing to animate avatars, and even PC control with Ultraleap currently developing software for the latter. But it's also fun for shoujo VR games like VR Chat. The Controller 2's key improvements are higher resolution cameras, a larger field of view, 25% less power consumption, and a 30% smaller build. Its versatility is mostly impressive because it works with various XR headsets, PCs, and more. It comes in a box with this USB-C cable, and you can attach it to any XR headset with a separately purchasable $19 mount like the one I have right here on my Beyond, or you can of course do it yourself with a 3D printer. Now before we head to my tutorial, let's see it in action with a Steam VR game. Okay, so how this all works with the Steam VR plugin is actually pretty simple. You got two hand gestures that you can use. So the first one is with the index finger, so if you do it like this, you're actually pressing the trigger button. So using this, you can uh, shoot guns or select menus. And then with the hand gesture with these three fingers, if you do it like that, you're pressing the grip buttons. So it's kind of just like the index controllers, right? So with the grip buttons in this game, you grab stuff. And this. And for all the other buttons, like the touchpad joystick, you can use the two sub menus on top of your hand. So with this one, I can move around. Uh, I can even duck and stand up. There's the A and B button, system button for the menu. Like all the stuff are in there. And, and it's pretty cool that you can do that. It's like a new way to explore a game that you already played before. But obviously this game is not really intended for hand tracking. It's a little bit too fast paced for this, I think. But still, really cool that, to see that it kind of works. Right? <laughs> Especially with this game where the hand animations are so good. It makes it kind of more immersive. 
Huh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and I have to say, I think the accuracy of the hand tracking is really good. Look at that. I can... Ah. I can kind of do this, but I will lose tracking sometimes. But I can do this. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, hand gestures. Mm, let's see. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. I mean, it works really well, right? Too bad it sometimes loses tracking or it's not fast enough for a game like this. But it suffices, I would say. Let's go over there a little bit. Oh my god. I think teleportation is probably better with uh, hand tracking. Oh? That does seem to work. <laughs> Here's a little heart for you guys. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for your support. Give this video a like if you uh, like it so far. <laughs> awesome. Now I can erase it. Ha. Huh. Oh, I think I can use my own hands for that. <laughs> this feels kind of satisfying. <laughs> That's cool. All right, I'm gonna try some gunplay in this game. I'm probably going to die, but let's let's just try it out. Okay, I just launched this uh, modded level level with a mod. See if it works. <laughs> yeah, the trigger button works. Let's see. I think with this, I can select weapons too. Mm-hmm. Well, that works. That works. That's pretty cool, but it's hard to move while shooting, though. Obviously, I'm going to die. Oh! 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 I think I got it! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so going to die. Oh my god, okay, this doesn't work at all. <laughs> well, it works, but just not for this game. So let's try a different game, actually. <laughs> As demonstrated, the Leap Motion Controller 2 pairs quite well with Steam VR. However, fast paced games like Half Life Alex may not be the best showcase, while slower VR games or apps like Virtual Desktop could shine with this device. Trying it out with Ultra Leap's free demo, I found that apps designed specifically for this controller work incredibly well. The accuracy of hand and finger tracking is impressive. It's able to identify 27 distinct hand components, including bones and joints. Here you can see the camera's perspective. The tracking remains reliable even when parts of your hands are obscured. However, I did notice that the device tends to heat up a bit during use, which raises concerns about its long-term impact, particularly when attached to a headset that also tends to generate heat. But in conclusion, the Leap Motion Controller 2 shows significant promise for specific applications. While it may not revolutionize every Steam VR game, it offers exciting possibilities for developers and enthusiasts who want to leverage hand tracking. So for more details, do check out the link below. Now before we head to the outro, here's a tutorial on how to use it with Steam VR in case you're interested. Start by downloading the necessary software from the link below. This is the Steam VR plugin I used. Scroll down and find the links there for Ultra Leap Gemini and the plugin. Make sure to download the latest Gemini version. You might need an account for it to start downloading. Then download the latest version of the plugin. I have both files ready here. Begin by extracting the plugin archive to your Steam VR drivers folder. You can find your Steam VR folder by opening Steam, then right-click Steam VR, then Manage and browse local files. The Steam VR folder will open now. Go to the drivers folder. Here you can copy and paste the path into the extraction window, then click extract. Now make sure that in the drivers folder, you got the folder named leap right here. Now go to your Steam folder, you can click right here if you use Windows 11 like I do. Go to config and scroll down to find the Steam VR settings file. Open it with notepad and find the line Steam VR. Then add this line below right here. Make sure you write it exactly like this, don't forget about any 
punctuations. Now install Ultralib Gemini if you haven't yet. After the installation is done, launch the Ultralib control panel. Now it's time to connect your Leap Motion to your VR headset using the USB-C cable. Most VR headsets have an additional USB port for this purpose, like the one here on the Beyond. Once you've connected the device, you should be able to see the camera feed in the control panel and you can test its functionality. Now, if you start SteamVR, it should recognize it and you can use it immediately. If not, turn on the Leap plugin in the SteamVR add-on settings. Please note some headsets only support USB 2.0 and you might see a message regarding this. If possible, use a USB 3 port for better tracking performance. And that's it! Is the latest Ultra Leap hand tracking device something you could use and what for? Let me know down below. And if you found this video helpful, a like would be awesome and your sub would mean the world to me because it's your support that keeps me bringing more content your way. And if you like cutting edge technology, do check out this video right here. I promise it's sure to get you excited about the future. We are on!